Hey guys, what's up? Today we have got our first ever golf swing battle. Obviously, last week the PGA Tour started back up again and it was an absolutely incredible week, finishing with a playoff between Xander Schauffele and Daniel Berger. If you haven't seen it, don't worry, I won't spoil it for you guys, I won't say who won, but today we're going to be taking a look at both of their golf swings and having a little comparison, little swing battle, and see what you guys think and which swing might be best for you or what you can take from these swings and incorporate into your own golf swing to help you improve your game. Xander Schauffele first. Now both of these guys have very interesting swings, both hugely different swings, but both very good in their own right and great young players. So at setup, Xander Schauffele, pretty neutral setup position, good bend in the hips and good bend in the knees. I would maybe like to see the knees a little bit straighter maybe little bit more upright but that's just personally for me he does have his hands quite high which is a feature of his golf swing really he kind of maintains this throughout the golf swing if we take the club back he does bring it low and a little bit inside a little bit earlier if we pause it parallel to the ground he's taken the club away with his body nice turn in the hips and shoulders but He's kind of rotated the club inside just a little bit. I personally like to keep the club outside the hands on the takeaway as it just helps me get into a better position to get the shaft more upright in the takeaway and then shallow out in the downswing. But everyone's different. He starts to bend that right elbow and the hands and arms start to now work up. If we pause it at the top, Huge high hands, which can be good, can be bad. Great for generating power and speed. Can be a little bit tough to control if they get on the wrong plane. You've got an extra moving part to then sync up with the rest of your golf swing and your body as well. Huge high right elbow as well. Pretty away from his body. Again, great for generating power but can lead to some inconsistencies and especially for a lot of amateur golfers from this position it would be very very easy to just come over the top and just hit huge slices or low pulls but Xander starts to drop the hands and arms keeping a lot of width actually in the swing which is great starts to shallow out the club as he comes down into impact and if we pause it there great impact position a lot of turn in the lower body he's maybe a little bit cramped for room you can see there's not a huge amount of room between his hands and his body everything looks very tight and compact but personally for me i'd like to see a little bit more space a little bit more room through impact as he swings through huge huge release now with the right elbow right hand right wrist all folding over releasing the club you can see huge rotation in the club face which again I wouldn't really recommend because it's very easy to flip the hands too early if the body doesn't rotate and coming through to a beautiful balanced finish so a few things to take away from that he generates a lot of power remember Xander's not a big guy he's not a big guy at all so he has to generate power some way and you'll see a lot of smaller guys especially like we talked about Justin Thomas last week huge high hands very similar top of the backswing position and then he has a huge amount of release as he comes through impact and coming through the ball which can make for a bit of inconsistency especially it can be hard to know exactly where that club face is pointing possibly but now let's take a look at daniel berger by the way guys make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because i'll be showing you both of these golf swings individually and a direct comparison between them so you guys can screen record them to your phones study them for yourselves compare them to your own golf swing and see what you think so let's take a look at Daniel Berger at setup a lot of knee bend almost looks like he's kind of sitting back quite a lot a lot of weight in the heels possibly 
very narrow stance actually as well if we look how close the feet are together looks like this might be the seventh hole at pebble beach absolutely beautiful pretty upright spine position slightly rounded in the upper back and spine but daniel's swing is not a conventional golf swing at all there is no one else on the pj tour who swings like him i was gonna say no one else in the world but i bet there are a few um as he takes the club back we pause it there. He's actually pretty traditional at this point, taking the club away with his hands and his body. Good triangle between the arms and the shoulders. And, you know, that club is perfectly parallel with his spine angle, so good position there. Now, here's where it starts to get a little bit funky. So he keeps the club going back. And this is where, as he gets to the top, that is a slightly unusual position and pretty recognizable. Now, if we actually have a look at the body, he's got really good turn, really good pivot. Body's in a really good position. Right arm is very interesting because he actually has very little bend in that right elbow, which is actually great for creating a lot of width in the golf swing. Consistency also can be good for creating power as well. And his hands and arms are very high, but that club is super, super laid off at the top of the swing, super flat. So, if he was just to turn from this position, he would probably miss the golf ball. In order to actually get that club back on plane and down onto the ball, his hands and arms, and also the club itself, is gonna have to drop down almost immediately as he starts this backswing. So, huge, huge drop in the hands and arms as he starts to unwind that body. And if we pause it here, that's a much more conventional position. Back on plane, looking good. And here just turns the body through if we pause it at impact. Pretty good position, pretty similar to Xander in a lot of ways. There's two things I don't like. Again, we talked about with Xander, there's not a huge amount of room. I'd say Daniel Berger has even less room. Um, so that could be a little bit problematic in certain areas. Also, his spine angle is very, very rounded in that upper back and spine, which can lead to some injuries, unfortunately. And Daniel has had a lot of injuries in his, I think it was his right wrist, actually, which is kind of unusual. Golfers tend to get injuries in their left wrist. But he was unsure if he was ever going to be able to play golf again. And it's great seeing him back on the tour. So as he comes through, releases those hands and arms over, big flip, exactly the same as Xander Schauffele, coming through to the finish, but a beautiful balanced finish position. Now, two very unusual golf swings with some similarities, but also a lot of differences. But the key thing is they make it their own. They're very repeatable. Obviously, these guys are great, great players in great form as well, making it into a playoff in a very, very good field last week. You have to remember, I think it was 16 of the top 20 golfers in the world were playing last week, and these two ended out on top which is pretty impressive when you've got Spieth up there, Rory McIlroy, all these guys playing really well. And these guys ended up scoring lower than all of them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of their golf swings. Which do you prefer? I'm going to give the victor of this golf swing battle to Xander Schauffele. Personally, if I had to swing like one of them, I would prefer to swing like Xander just because he's got more room through impact. He's got a slightly better spine angle through impact. It's actually not too much to do with the backswing or anything or the top of the backswing positions, just to do with that impact position and the kind of risk of injury as well. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay home, stay safe and grip it and rip it guys. Call my name, yes, come and say my name